Hi guys, I thought I'd uh, show you the process of what I was going to do with the little swipes, these little things, that this idea. So what I'm doing is taping off a panel, as you can see right here, because we're going to keep the sides, we're going to keep that nice and clean. There you go. And we're going to cut this off. Okay, so we have a nice taped off side. I'm going to put one more on because we're going to be resining this thing also. So we want to keep the whole side really clean. also the uh, the bottom of the uh, of the panel there you go cut that off so now we can fold this over and the resin is gonna come over the side just a little and there might be a couple of drips coming over the side but it won't go all the way down there so you don't have to worry about that it's just a, a tiny little bit, maybe a little drippy here and there, but that's about it. So we have a nice taped off panel. Now it's going to be a little bit smaller than I drew uh, uh, down there, but it's going to be okay. Now for the color, I have chosen uh, Prussian blue because uh, I like the really nice dark color of Pr Prussian blue and also I have Prussian blue in the swipes so it's going to bring that color up and it's going to give it some really nice contrast that's what I'm going for so what I'm doing is I'm brushing it on with a nice they call this a, a cat tongue brush here in Holland not sure what you call it but we call it a cat tongue I think it's because it looks like a cat tongue. There you go. And of course, you when you're painting a panel, because it's wood, you always go up and down and then from left to right because you want all the, all the wood and all the little crevices, you want that covered in paint and of course you also don't want to see any brush marks so finished and I'll show it to you from really up close now this is gonna be really nice and smooth but I do want to get this paint off the sides. I don't want any buildup. And these are all things that you have to think about because, um, see, if you have buildup on the sides, as you can see here is a little bit of buildup. You want to take that off because there's going to be a resin on top. And you don't want the resin to have some sort of a structure that it's going to pour up against because that's going to make it really ugly. So cleaning off my brush a little bit. One more. One more stroke down there. And this is with a really soft touch. There you go. And as you can see, it's totally saturated with color, but there are no brush strokes. Okay, now don't get discouraged if you see a little bit of that wood uh, structure coming through, because that's absolutely no problem whatsoever, because we're going to be covering this with, uh, with resin, and it's going to make it really nice and smooth and shiny. So uh, I'm going to be 
washing out my brush and then I'm gonna take a, a pen and I'm gonna make some ovals. So be right back. Okay, now um, I am uh, cutting out the little things. What I do is with a pencil I make uh, a little example of how big I want it and then we're gonna cut it. Now I know I have a uh, brother scan and cut and I could do that but I think for this type of art I think it's nicer to have a hand cut ovals and even though here you see the line the good thing about wearing gloves is that if you just go over the side a little bit like that it's gone as you can see so we have four I think I'd like a few little tiny teeny ones so the best way to cut is if you put a little pressure on I'll just cut that away if you put a little bit of pressure on the on the uh, when you're cutting what I like to do is start at the uh, short side then do the long one then before I do the top I move my hand and then just do this in one continuous little cut and that's important because that's going to give you those nice round edges and as you can see the pencil is still on there but just giving it a little rub just like that the pencil is gone so that leaves us with a nice clean little pebble now I dried this is dry and as you can see it, it went even darker it's beautiful I really like the uh, the color and what I wanted to do is just lay them out here just to see how many I still need to get a complete coverage now remember they where they're overlapping now it looks like it doesn't look that good but once I put the uh, shadows underneath and I'm gonna of course put shadows not only here but these are the most important shadows where they overlap you have to shadow this but if you want the whole thing to resemble a pebble which are always a little bit round of course you're gonna have be shadowing this also like that so that's gonna be shadow then a lot of shadow here because they're overlapping and you'll just give that the illusion that it's round so I'm going into this a little bit further because I understand that not all of everyone that's watching understands about shadowing and making things look dimensional so that's what you do you just shadow around the edges all of them you can't skip one because that'll look really flat so you give them all the shadows around the edges just filling it in here a little bit shadow 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 more shadow and then you put the emphasis on here where they overlap you give that a lot of shadow so then all of a sudden it looks like it's more round but the thing is we'll have to do some testing for um, what I'm going to use to achieve that look so I'm going to give let's see I'd like a bigger one down here and I think I'd like it if it was from up here and a little like that so I'm going to do the side first then move my hand to do a nice sweep around the top and we're going to go down here move my hand and a nice sweep around the other side that's it so there we're going to put that one in there let's put them in here this is going to be where they're overlapping we have a nice one down there and I want a little pebble 
to overlap this one. I like the overlapping because that's going to really um, get the look of, you know, really pebbles. And of course you can just place them on there without any overlapping. That's totally okay. It's not that you have to do this. But this is what I have in my mind, so that's why I'm... That was a really a little bummer thingy to do, that one. So we're going to put that on here. And maybe... I'm just uh, going with the flow here. See, that's when I don't pull, then it won't go as smoothly as I was imagining. You have to pull a little bit. I'm not sure if you know what I mean, but you pull a little bit and then it makes it go much smoother. So I'm going to put that one there. And I think we do need one, one more here, one more there. Let's do a nice green one in the middle. And I'll take it like this. That's going to be a nice There you go. Oh yeah, now it's looking really cute. Now I'm starting to think, yeah, that's going to look really awesome. Okay, another smaller one down here. Now the ones I made yesterday, these are not the ones I made yesterday. These I made like, I don't know, at least six weeks ago. So I can resin this one tomorrow, not today, because... Let's see, right down there. Okay, I think that's going to be cute. Yep, that's it. We're not going to put any more on there. That's it. Now, all I have to do is take the backing off because, um, as you know, this is uh, Kodak Extra Life. And I'll show you what that looks like. See, the back also has um, that plastic stuff on it. Let's see if I can peel it off like this. Oh yeah, there it goes. See, on the front it has plastic. See that? I'm peeling off the whole thing. But you don't want this because I'm not sure how this is going to stick with, uh, with the glue. Sometimes the glue just will not do it. But on the back, um, when I have a really sharp knife, I can also peel off a bit of plastic. I'm just not sure if you're going to see me do it right here oh and I want to thank everyone for those awesome comments you gave on my video yesterday that was really really sweet I know I let you guys down being away so long but I really had to okay guys I'm gonna give up on this this takes too long but you can imagine how long it takes to peel all those backings off <clears throat> so every single one I'm gonna peel it off See, you can see a start here, but I'm just not sure how I'm going to get it. Well, just leave it. So <clears throat> I'm going to peel the backings off. Then I'm going to stick it on. Then I'm going to show you, because this is how I'm going to put it. But then I'm going to show you how I uh, put on the shadows. So I'm thinking maybe I might even use watercolor. I'm just not sure yet. But I'm not sure if you can see how they are glittery also. They are really nice and metallic, shiny. So this is going to be really cool once I put the uh, resin on top. Thanks for watching, guys. Be back when I'm resining or painting. See you. Love you. Okay, guys, I'm back. And um, I peeled uh, the backing off all these. And I arranged them that in a manner that I really like them. But now I have to take them back off because I have to put the glue on. So I'm just going to do one. Oops, you can't see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to do one. 
and then uh, the rest I'm gonna do offline because this is really you know not that fun to watch but what I do is I put it on with a brush because I think that is better than just you know winging it because last time when I did uh, one of these panels I s used glue also but some of the uh, the sides you know curled up a little bit and then it catches the uh, the resin and it pops out of the resin so you don't want that so that's why I'm doing it with a brush and I'm really taking my time to make sure that everything is covered in glue that's it like that and usually you want it to uh, just a little bit get a little tacky before you put it on. So we're going to take that one off there and we're going to place it back. There we go. So if you're having trouble for it to stick really stick well, you just have to wait a little bit and then get it really tacky and then put it on. Now I'm using the back of my pencil, the eraser, to push it down so that we make really sure that we have no edges sort of turning up because we want a nice smooth coverage of resin so this is uh, fun to do but not f to do online because <laughs> it's just tedious work so I'm gonna leave you guys now I'll just take put that off as you can see it's really really tight and I don't have any edges popping up and even if there was a little glue coming out from underneath you could rub it off with the uh, eraser and you might want to make sure that all the pencil is off because it has to be really tight and clean when you put the resin on top okay so I'll be back uh, when I'm ready to put some resin on oh no I'll be back when I do the shadows that's right so see you in a bit okay guys um i started the uh the shadowing but this is really you know you have to really take your time to do this so i don't really want to bore you to death with this but all it is is uh i've, I've taken a, a little bit of Payne's gray and diluted it with a lot of water and a tiny brush and then you just go around here like that now if you think it's too much which it usually is you just paint it in like that and then you come in with a little bit of paper and you take it off a little bit see that then only the really little little bit stays there and gives the illusion of a little shadow like that and you can do this as much as you want now for this one I would you know normally do the whole side like this because that gives it the depth and then take it off a little bit like that so that only the outer little bit you know is a little bit dark and that already gives a lot of illusion of depth so put it on a little bit here just dab it on a little bit like that and where you think it's too much you take it off a little bit like that oops wrong side and I'm sure you can come up with a lot of different ways to uh, do the shadowing uh, I think even pencil might work because we're gonna be pouring resin on it anyway so I think that'll work just a little bit around the sides to give that illusion of depth that it's a round little round thing now you can move this all over the place so that is um, that is really nice that you don't have to 
you know, put your arms straight over. And you got to keep um, a good eye on this because um, usually when you're into this, you know, you get into it too much and then you put too much on and then all of a sudden it, it doesn't look like shadow anymore. It just looks like a mess. So um, every once in a while you want to, you know, look, for, look at it from a distance just to see if you're getting that illusion that you really want. But I'm going to be um, working on this a lot more. But I'll do that offline because, um, like I said, this isn't a very interesting to watch. And this here, this already looks like a shadow, but that is really uh, just paint. So that's kind of cool. can dab it with your finger or whatever you want. Now this one needs a little little bit more around the side. But as you can see there's already a lot of depth created by doing this and uh, it, it already looks like they're laying on top of each other. And you can just step away from this and uh, do something else if it, you know, if it really is too much. There you go. So I'll be right back when I'm ready to pour resin on top. So see you in a bit. Bye. Okay, guys, uh, another uh, little bit of video because I thought I, I don't want to skip this. Uh, you really want to, uh, I think you want to see the whole thing. So what I'm doing now is with the glaze medium, and this is the Vallejo Transparent Gloss Glaze Medium. What I'm doing is I'm adding um, a little bit of um, primary elements. This is, um, you can buy primary elements or Pearl X or whatever. It's just mica, 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 whatever you call it. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm touching up the color just a little bit and not only that but with bringing this into the uh, into the stones I'm also sealing it a little bit and giving a little bit more depth to the color as you can see how it works but also it's going to give it that little extra shine that makes it all prettier to look at so just here and there I'm adding a little bit of this glaze and it's just a tiny tiny glaze to bring out the colors just a little bit more as you can see it works just mixing it with a little bit of glaze medium and when I put it on as you can see it's very transparent but what it does do is it'll give it just that little bit more depth and it's going to intensify the color. And that you can really see every time you put some more on. It intensifies the color and um, the shine gives it the illusion of more depth. So that's something that you might want to do. Because I know a lot of people that watch this channel have bought a lot of this uh, primary elements for the resin or for uh, pouring. But this is another great thing you can do with it. Now I went over the side a little there. And you don't want to do that because um, you want to keep that clean. See, I went over here. Went over the side. Now it's gone. So it just gives that extra. And it doesn't take away the uh, the cells, as you can see, and it keeps the cells cells nicely intact, but just adds a little bit. Now, am I? Yeah, I think I need a little bit more of that blue down here. Just a tiny bit. 
And I'm talking just, you know, it's just a few little crumbs of this stuff. It's enough to color it all up. And there was one bit that I wanted to add a little bit more blue to because I thought it was too green. That's this bit here. Oops, went next to it again. I'll have to take that off in a bit. There you go. Let's see. Nah, I kind of like the rest. Because I think the, the green that I added um, sort of gives the illusion of um, of moss growing on this rock and I really like that. I, I'm really into moss. I've been making those little terrariums you know with only with plants just to give it an illusion of mossy looking stuff. I'm gonna put it along the side here. So um, I've been making those and I, I go to the thrift shop and then I buy those really nice glass vases and then I put plants in them that's it because I don't want animals in there or insects or whatever I don't like to capture insects I think that is uh, really sad that they have to live in a glass cage all their life we don't want to do that new no. okay so I think I'm ready a little bit here I see that one needs a little bit more glue because it's coming up a little bit. Got to really make uh, sure that everything is really stuck down there because that really needs to be flat when I add the resin on top of it. Okay, that's it. Okay guys, the next time you see me we're going to be pouring resin on top. Oh, you want to see the shine of course, look at that. Is that not beautiful? That is what the primary elements does. It makes it shimmer and shine and you just wait till I put resin on there. It's gonna be finger licking good. Okay guys, I gotta go, it's late. Laters! Hi guys, I'm back. And uh, I'm gonna resin the top. I might do a, a double take because um, you can't feel where they're overlapping. You can feel a little bump. So I'm going to see how this works out. And then uh, if it needs it, I'm going to do another layer. Got to keep some. But what I do is I just spread it out with my little popsicle stick. Just like that. Just like icing the cake. Now I've just done, um, I've covered two of my other ones, the ones I did a while back. They needed a touch up, so I sanded them down and put on another layer. But I'm going to see how I'm going to do this one. Because you can't feel these, um, the little bumps where they overlap each other. So, I think I need more. The other one, I really didn't need as much. So, let's see if we can pull it down just a little bit. Because I do need one full layer. You, do, you don't want to have these... Uh, parts where there's no resin because then I don't think that's going to work really well. And I don't like throwing out resin, but I think I was a little bit too cheapskatey. Although, I do think I'm getting there. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty much covered. Still have to torch it, and when you torch it, it does get a little thinner, so I still have some left, so I'm going to put that in the middle and up here. Everywhere where I see some dents here and there, I see dents. Now let's see if I can do this again. 
point it down here and that needs a little bit more and I do have enough I'm pretty sure I have enough Okay, then up here a little bit, there's a little where it needs a little bit more, and down here, and I think I might just leave it like this. There it needs a little bit more. And I see here a little spot where it didn't take. Down here. There's a little spot. That's a little spot. That's a little spot. Okay, it's starting to look good. Ooh, there's a little bit there. That needs a drop more. And one more up here. Okay, I think we're ready to... Oh no, there's another one. You gotta be really careful with this stuff. Now I can still see where some of it Here it needs a little bit more. Here's one. Okay, looking good. I really, really um, thought I would have more than enough, but somehow I don't have more than enough. I would have liked just a little bit more, especially here on the side. But this stuff is really forgiving. You know, you can just uh, move it around a little bit more if you really need to. I want them to have nice sides because I don't want those, you know, holes in the side. I think that's okay. There's a few air bubbles. I'll pop those in a bit. Mm. Yeah. I'm satisfied. Oh, I think that's silicone. Yep, so I think it's silicone. I have a few more bits where I think j it's just the silicone that it's resisting the uh, the resin. Let's do a little rubbing right down here, see if that helps. Then down here. That was an air bubble. That's looking like silicone and I think it's okay for the first time I do this yeah you know it is uh, handwork it's not machine done so I uh, should have had a little bit more down here and I can't scrape any more out there's nothing left Yep, that's it. Okay, one more touch. And 
and now I'm going to let it dry. See, there is a little bit. I'll show you the parts where it's not that pretty. There's a silicone thing. But I'm going to leave it because I'm going to be doing a second layer on top. See, the sides are nice. I like those sides. They are perfect. They didn't go over the side any. Okay, that's it. Okay, peoples, um, I did uh, redid uh, these because uh, if you can remember, this is a really a long time ago. I did this, uh, the resin on top, and I had a bit where it stuck out of the resin. So I had to redo it. And for uh, you at home, if you have um, ever had that happen to you, which I'm sure a few people will have that happen, all you have to do is sand it down correct what's wrong and then you'll just uh, put a, another resin layer on top and it'll be all okay you won't even see it even when you sand it you'll think oh that's never never gonna be you know fixed but it will because as soon as you put that resin layer on top look at that that is a beautiful beautiful side so as soon as you put your resin uh, back on a sanded piece of resin, you will absolutely see that you don't see one scratch mark whatsoever. I'll do this offline, guys. It's going to take too long. But as you can see, um, it's a beautiful, beautiful side. It's nicely rounded just a little bit. And um, I think it, it's perfect. So I'll put that one away. Then I have this one, the same deal. I used stone coat and if you want to see some uh, art made with stone coat resin please go over to uh, YouTube and check out artist till death uh, she and her husband I think it is or a friend I don't know what but they they have a really nice channel they use a lot of stone coat and you will uh, see what they come up with a lot of really cool stuff so I really did want to do this one online because this is the one that I showed you from A to Z. Well, as you can see, it's a really nice. It didn't leak under the uh, tape, which I'm pretty happy with. See that? That is beautiful. It's nicely uh, finished. As you can see, it has that depth to it. It's nice on a cradled uh, panel. There's no... Uh, there's just a little bit like here on the side you can see a few but you know it's guys it's art if you're gonna be um, all upset because you have here or there you have one little dimple really then you should just buy stuff in the in the shop I, I think because it's art it's made by hand there are not two pieces exactly the same don't worry about it look at that that is beautiful See how tight that is? That is something I do like when it's really tight and you don't see anything come down. Well, maybe here a little bit. See here you see just a tiny bit and I'm pretty sure you can just take that off. Yeah, see that? We can take that off. Oh, that's a little bit of tape. See how nice and tight that is? Beautiful, beautiful cover and uh, it gives depth to everything. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, while you're looking at it, I'll be uh, at the beach. <laughs> yes, I will. Uh, I'll be walking on the beach with my little uh, nookie boo. And um, I'll be thinking of you guys. And when I come back, I have some really, really interesting stuff to do. Um, I saw somewhere online, I saw a really, really beautiful idea to make some art that you don't hang on the wall, but you can just set down. And I think that's what we need because we have like 600 canvases laying around. But what we want is something different. So that's what's coming up. So thanks all for watching. Love you all to pieces like always. Thanks for all the sweet comments you guys leave behind. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.